Aaron Shriver, Melodies and Memories Music Media. We're with May Estes. Man, that was an amazing, impressive set tonight. We just love it, man. So welcome to Americana Fest, first and foremost. Thank You've you. been interviewing all day. You were on the red carpet at the awards show earlier. Now we actually get to talk for a little bit. What does Americana Fest mean to you? This is your first year, but being so deep in Roots music, I mean, what does it mean to you to be here this week? Man, I kind of feel like I don't belong in mainstream country <laughs> music sometimes because of how honest I try to write. You know, yeah. it feels like there's not a place for some of that music on country radio yeah. or things like that sometimes. And I do believe that there is. But sometimes yeah. I get in my head about it and it's really nice to be embraced by genre yeah. like Americana <laughs> yes. because, man, everyone's just unbelievably talented, like mm -hmm. just at a raw level. Yeah. They're, they're incredible performers. They really uh, storytell in their yeah. songwriting. And yeah, it just stands out about Americana as a storyteller. Yeah, man, yeah. I, just, I just really respect all of the artists that they're calling Americana. So to be included in that list is just an honor. So it's I, so I love seeing your set tonight because of that. It was, cause it was, it was a storytelling set list. It was authentic. It was raw. It was amazing tonight. So growing up in Hope, Arkansas and bringing that with you to here, how do you, how do you stay true to your roots? And how did you incorporate the small town living into your songwriting at the beginning? Yeah, I think I think the small town living kind of just goes with you everywhere you go. You know, there's just roots. It's kind of just parts of my character now that I learned in Hope, Arkansas that I can't ever get rid of. But I do think it's a lot harder to be inspired in this big city and running, running, running. So I do have to make sure I take the time to still fill my tank yeah. up and slow down enough to really look at life. You go back home a lot and man, kind, of, kind of get grounded again. Yeah, as much as I can and yeah. my family comes up to visit me that. as much as they can and that always really brings me back to uh to what it's all about for me and reminds me of those roots yeah. i'm talking about i love that so good old boys it just released recently it's already making some waves out there Maybe. uh what inspired this single for you and uh what message you hope it conveys to its listeners yeah this song is really important i yeah. think i i've referenced a lot of my heroes you know loretta lynn had a song called the pill back <laughs> in the day and tammy Wynette was I mean, I don't want to play house is calling yourself out as a parent, you yeah. know, but she was honest about it. Yeah. And that kind of songwriting just really appealed to me as a human being. Yeah. And so I carried you it with me. You got to touch on those subjects. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you got to. It's life. Yeah. So, so we picked another one of those hard subjects. And I think betrayal from somebody you thought, you know, was somebody different, you know, somebody you were safe with. I think that's a that's a real specific hurt and heartbreak. And um, unfortunately, I've had a, a lot of women reach out to me already saying <laughs> saying they really relate to they it. Really, yeah, they can yeah. connect to it. And that's, that's hard to hear, but man, it makes me feel like uh, we picked the right song to to put all this hoopla <laughs> behind. And we've got a fancy music video that nice. CMT premiered in Times Square, Times New York Square. City. Did I see that you haven't been to Times Square before, but your I music haven't. video has. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> my, uh, my redneck mug is in Times Square, which is pretty crazy, but I hope this song gets to the people it's supposed to get to. Well, speaking of like Times Square and your name shows up on a lot of watch lists for like 2024 or in the next year. How do you stay grounded with all those accolades and the attention that you keep getting? Like how do you, you gotta stay grounded in a way. What do you do to do that? Go back to Arkansas or? <laughs> I'll say, I'll say mostly any artist that you think is having accolades does not feel like they are having yeah. accolades. I've been around a lot of musicians and artists and peers of mine that I'm, I think are so awesome awesome and I think they're out there killing it and when they're telling me like you're everywhere your name's everywhere you're killing it <laughs> that's when I feel like I'm screaming off the rooftops and nobody's listening to me <laughs> so I have no trouble staying humble yeah. this town will definitely keep you that way and I surround myself with people who are way better than I am and uh, that really keeps me keeps me in line yeah. in the best way and keeps me growing and, and trying to get better every day the answer. so the 2025 is looking like it's already starting out to be Huge stagecoach. Man. Your name's on that lineup. I mean. How are you prepping for someone so big? <laughs> I'm just, at this point, I have been working at it for so long. Yeah. I'm just excited. It's pure excitement nice. when those doors open because I've been yeah. prepping for them for so long. So I'm going to run through that stagecoach door. <laughs> My band is amazing, and we're all going to celebrate that big win uh, together, and we can't wait. So we were talking a little earlier. We're based out of Chicago, and earlier you, you rolled through Joe's Bar on Weed Street, yeah. historical venue with Jackson Dean. What's something that you take away from being on those tours, like from artists like Jax, or even playing historical venues too, like that, that has so much history? Yeah, I, I 
I learned a ton. This was kind of my first full year to tour, so I can't even name all of the things I learned. Um, but mostly the kind of people that come out and what they like to hear. I just really did a lot of strategy studying on, <laughs> on these shows on, you know, how how often what crowds will actually yeah. connect to that real music we're talking about tonight that yeah. we played at Americana yep. Fest. Um, and it turns out there are a lot of listeners who are really yeah. looking for the nitty gritty. You just got to get to them. And sometimes yeah. that social media algorithm, <laughs> you know, don't don't work as smooth as getting to actually deliver it to human beings. That's so. why I love seeing this show tonight because I saw the Joe show, full band, everything else. And I saw you tonight just strip down. And it was cool. It's cool to see the two differences of the two. Yeah. So you've been such a health, mental health advocate. Why, why did you get involved with it? And why, why what, what's, what's the purpose behind it? Just being an advocate for mental health for people. Yeah. Uh, so I love what you've been doing and working with it. So thank you so much. Yeah, I just uh, just struggling with it myself. Yeah. I come from a long line of generational yeah. issues, and um, I think it's just a conversation at the very least that we all should be having. It's yeah. as as important as physical health, and we should treat it, it as is. such. Agreed. So what's been on your playlist this summer? Our last front question before we wrap up with you. You know, I listen to a bunch of old school. Yes. I got. Loretta and Keith and all that, but I will say I have a bunch of talented friends making new country music right now. <laughs> I love Emily Ann Roberts, Kylie Fry is incredible. Mm. I love what Zach Top's doing. Yes. Um, I'm listening to Lainey Wilson's new record. I'm listening to Miranda Lambert's new record. Nice. Um, there's so much good country music yep. out there right now, and um, I'm trying to trying to learn from the best. Hey, you are for sure. You've become <laughs> one of the best. So <laughs> thank you. Just to see, you, like I said, your growth from Chicago. Chicago to here has been amazing. Thank so I wish you. you nothing but the best next year. Guys, may yes, check her out when you guys can. All right, thank you so thank much. You.